a walk and concert to remind Dominicans that the first shipment of enslaved Africans to arrive in Dominica were brought to Geneva Estate in Grand Bay, were well executed on Friday. A number of individuals gathered in Grand Bay for the walk to commemorate Emancipation Day celebrations 2016. Chief Cultural Officer Jacinta David stated that the event was in memory of all those who suffered from the oppression of slavery. And David recognized the community of Grand Bay for providing leadership after emancipation, which included the struggles for land reform and independence. You played an important role in the struggle and development of the country for independence in 1978. So we are gathered here to honor the memory of those who played a role in the process leading up to the abolition of the slave trade. And those include many of the African slaves themselves who resisted slavery from capture right through the transatlantic voyage and to the arrival in the Caribbean. A libation ceremony was also organized in memory of those who died in the Middle Passage, but also to celebrate the resistance of the African spirit. Maroons, including Bala and Kongori, who fought and resisted, were also recognized during that ceremony. The emancipation activity culminated at the Hewlett Park in Grand Bay and featured a number of local artists and musicians, performances by cultural groups, dancers, drummers, and also a performance by the Midnight Groovers Band.